Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As I promised in my previous video related with the Femi Minute 3, today we are testing the total fly time of the Femi Mini 3 drone in hovering mode. I will start with the regular battery and then I will continue with the plus version of the battery, which gives an extended uh, fly time. And at the same time, with the Femi Mini 3, I will use also the DJI Mini 2 just you know to, to compare the total flight times in hovering mode of uh, both drones. I know that many of you will, will say, hey Nick, uh, you're testing the hovering mode. We know that uh, we have a reduced uh, total flight time. What about the total flight time uh, during a, a flight or something similar? That's why this video will be split it in, uh, in two parts. In the first part we have the hovering mode and in the second part I will put both uh, drones in a continuous, you know, orbit mode just to, to test also the total flight time during a, a flight. For this flight, guys, I'm not recording any kind of, of footage. I want uh, the drones just to, to hover in, uh, in uh, its position. And also I will try to, to land uh, both drones with 5% uh, remaining capacity on the battery. During the flight in hovering mode, we can compare the two drones by focusing on four key areas. Total flight time, each drone's ability to maintain its position without operator intervention, the total number of satellites received, and the noise produced by the drone's propellers. On this sunny day, the DJI Mini 2 received a GPS signal from 19 to 21 satellites, while the Femi Mini 3 received signal from 24 to 30 satellites during the same time frame. In terms of noise, the DJI Mini 2 produced approximately 15% less sound. When it comes to stability, the DJI Mini 2 clearly outperforms the Femi Mini 3. Throughout the test, I didn't need to intervene even once to adjust its position via the controller. It was truly impressive how stable it was. In contrast, the Femi Mini 3 exhibited some minor deviations, about 1 meter, on both the horizontal and vertical axis, requiring frequent uh, adjustments using the remote controller. Now let's move to the final category, which is the primary focus of this comparative video, the overall battery life. On your screen, from left to right, we have the Femi Mini 3 with a standard battery, the DJI Mini 2 in the center, and the Femi Mini 3 with a plus battery on the right. As you can see, the DJI Mini landed first at 23 minutes 9 seconds followed by Femi Mini 3 with a standard battery at 26.45. The winner in this category was the Femi Mini 3 with a plus battery, achieving a time of 27.50 minutes. This is an impressive performance for the Femi Mini 3, especially for a drone in this category. However, we must consider whether it's wise to invest extra money in the plus battery, which only provided an additional minute of flight time. So stay with me until the end of today's video, where we will evaluate all the available data to help you make an informed decision. So guys, in the first part, uh, we started by testing the total flight time in hover mode. Today we are testing the total flight time in a continuous uh, orbit uh, flight. For your information about the weather conditions, 20 degrees Celsius, no wind at all, and uh, also both drones during the flight will record uh, at 4K 30 frames per second. And uh, as we did it at the first part, we will test uh, the total flight time of uh, Femi Mini 3 with the two batteries, the regular one and the plus uh, version. And also we will compare the total flight time with the DJI Mini Mini 2.
Now that we have all the data at our disposal, let's summarize. According to DJI specifications, the Mini 2 has a maximum flight time of 31 minutes. But during our test it flew for about 24 minutes. In contrast, FIMI claims the Mini 3 offers 32 minutes with a standard battery and 38 minutes with a plus battery. Our tests showed the Mini 3 flew approximately 27 minutes with a standard battery and 28 minutes with a plus version. Considering its price, I believe the FIMI Mini 3 performed quite well. However, when it comes to the plus battery, it's not worth the investment. As we observed in today's video, the plus battery provided only an additional minute of flight time. Therefore, there is no need to spend an extra 20 bucks. Just stick with the standard version. And that wraps up our test. We've seen how the Mini 2 and Mini 3 perform in real world conditions. While the Fimi Mini 3 offers some solid features, the limited benefit of the Plus battery makes it clear that sticking with the standard version is the way to go for most users. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more drone reviews and comparisons. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Did you find the results surprising? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.